Morning! Yes, that's the big mister's car. Just coming in now. <laughs> Said he'd be here at quarter. He's not. We're getting a right stiz about it. We'll, we'll talk to him in a minute. Alright, mate. Alright, hello. Oh, check this out. Yeah. He's got his big mick hat on. This is the business. <laughs> It'll be on next week when I'm in Whitby. Got his Oxo top on as well. Pardon? Oxo top. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it's nice and warm. What happened to coming early anyway? I've got to give it a bit of time to get. I know you're up this morning. I was out watching you. What? I was watching you on uh, Messenger. On Messenger? Yeah, you were up. <laughs> you're like well. a spy. Yeah. Eh? Oh, I don't want to get here too early, do I? Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm here in uh, quite nice South Yorkshire this morning. It's, um, I won't say it's hot, it's not cold, but I'm walking to the wrong side of my car and I need to take this down to the house. So <laughs> anyway, me and Mick are here. I'm not sure about my dad because he's not been feeling right well, so it might just be me and Mick. I'm going to uh, leave this for the postman. Paul from Ireland, your parcel will be on the way today. Um, I love the international orders. Morning, Mick. I think I've already said morning. Morning, you Right, I am going to jump on the TM 320S, start feeding out. I've got that trailer to take back at some point. Um, sorry, Adrian. I just, yeah, t yesterday didn't happen, but today might. So I've got Mick letting me in everywhere now. I'll feed round. Have you lost some weight? Ah. That much? Stop, let's stop. You know what I feel like this morning? What? I feel like uh, Rip Wheeler off of Yellowstone in a cowboy. That series, he's a, he's a proper mister, him. Rip Wheeler, he's a boy. Is a this boy. like an old time, old time thing? Uh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a series now, I'm telling you. Oh, it's on telly now? Ah, uh, Rip Wheeler, it's a uh, Yellowstone billion. <laughs> check it out, check he's, it out. He's the mister. <laughs> so, as I'm getting everywhere fed, Mick's just going to go and chop up some wood, he says. I bet he's not sharpened my chainsaw again. So he's had his 10 minutes cutting wood up. I'm having a chat with my mum. And I'm getting on the straw blower. Um, yeah, I've got up the path to do and then I can feed them. Because uh, I want to try and uh, not to run on the, the food that they've got with these tyres. So the big misters. <laughs> what we can get is something now to blow a bit of straw in. I mean, they're fairly well bedded up in here anyway, but we'll give them a bit more. So I'm here just blowing the straw out. Trying to bed these guys down. I'll just spread this one bale across the whole length of sheds and then I'll come with another bale and spread that along the whole length and then these guys will be nicely bedded up all sorted really need to put a steering wheel knob back on this so just be it so much easier it's not bad it's not a bad steering wheel it's just for you using the yard work you want to be able to just woof, spin it around like we've got on the JCB so I've just had coffee time on my own because Mick's gone with my mum to try and um, get this puncture fixed on the Discovery. Um, but Mick knows a place in Mexper to get it sorted, so he's like, right, I'll take you. So job's done. Right, I'd better get round and put some hay out. And I'll use the nine meter because it's got that bit more reach. Can get into the pen and uh, get that hay in. That's our first man sorting it out to Ireland. So I've got the MX Grab, got two bales to take round that side. I do like using this, it's so much easier than messing about with just a single spike. Brilliant bit of kit. So I'm uh, hand feeding a few of these. Camera lens is a bit mucky. Hey, you're lovely aren't you? I'm hoping our Ben turns up in a bit and then I can vaccinate some of these and we can uh, get them into different pens. Well, you took it all off me now, mate. You've got it. You took it all off and just dropped it on the floor. What you like? Eh? Lovely. 
So I grab a bale like this. This one's a little bit tight for getting in here. I'm just gonna do this. These have already got some here left, but I'm just gonna put one on anyway. Because I'll only have to do it this afternoon. And I'm waiting for Mick to have his coffee with my mum and dad. So I might as well try and be a bit efficient with my time and get something done now. So I'll put this on this edge here. Drop it down. Pull it back in, try and get around the, the metal stanchion, the girder. There we have it, just need to uh, unwrap it now. So I'll get in here, these guys are all being good. What are you doing up there? Hmm? You're not supposed to be up there, mate. You're not a goat. Oh yeah, he knows. As do you. Lovely cow. So Mitch has been putting pipes on. You couldn't work on a tipper, you could you? Don't know what. We couldn't work on a tipper. Yeah, that tipper boys. They ain't got it. Need to learn how to put pipe. Do you ever drop a trailer off? All the time. Do you? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Is our Ben back? Hey? Our Ben's here, supposedly. Yeah. Hmm. So we spread a bale in and... Oh God, it's 11 o'clock now, like. We've got a lot of cattle to vaccinate as well, but luckily my brother's here, so that will make it a bit easier. We must have, like, 50-odd to vaccinate, I think. Which will be a bit of a, a struggle to get done, but... Oh, that's how it is. Right, we'll blast this straw out down here. It's another job ticked off the list. You've been what? Busy, man. I've been busy this week. Hey, am I double time? Yeah, triple time today. Ooh, Saturday, innit? <laughs> triple zero. Triple <laughs> and he's, and he's back from Devon. He's had a few pies, though. <laughs> He's got a stick. I've got a stick though, it's alright. It's a bit Oh you are disgusting! Cow's far tough. Better out than in. Cow's far tough. Oh god. <laughs> Apologies if somebody's just eating the tea and um watching this video or dinner or breakfast or whatever it is. No. Big mix on the body burp, all right? <laughs> Ben's going on holiday tomorrow. Madeira. Is it Madeira? What? What? I mean, I'll come to you, I'll lift, I'll uh, increase the volume to you oh, what he's had later. We'll be weak today. Are you? Ah! Ah! Business. See all my, see all my followers. Ah. Give up. My big mates. Mix no on booze no more, are you? No. Well, not to whip you. No. Or are you going to take his... Dry January. No, no, I'm cutting down. Don't mind if he dry February. Mm. Not having no meat as well, you're doing for January, aren't you? No, no bacon, no bacon in there. No bread, no chips, no crisps. No bacon? Some cookies. No bacon. No, no what, so you're not going to have no bacon here today? I'll have bacon, yeah. Bacon, <laughs> eh? But no bread, no chips, no carbohydrates. Omelette, you have an omelette? Yes. They're good for you, they fill you up, don't they? Mm. Banana? No. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I've found the batteries for the digger. Mick says he's coming in the morning to give us a hand. Yeah, but but he's, a, he's put a stipulation on it, haven't you, Michael? What? What's the stipulation? I don't know. You're wanting something off me, aren't you, again? Oh, my still thing. Yeah. My still flask. He wants a still flask that we, uh, we got the other day. He says yeah. I'm not going to use it. You don't use note anyway. Rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish. What are you going to use it for, have, Oxo? He to make a coffee or a tea, doesn't he? Who done? Joe. Me done. Has he ever made one? That's right. I, I make one every day. day. I don't want to do of him. No, because you've been dilly-dallying 
driving around not met one here three completely. villages Did away you? to get a tire fixed. You know, Joyce, I have to look after your mum as well. Oh, I don't know. So we've had his dinner now. Come on, pretty. Only small these things. Um, and yeah, we're going to get these vaccinated and all ready. Don't think Mick's gone yet, but I'm sure we will be going soon. He's had his dinner. It's a big softy, you aren't you? Hey, you're lovely, aren't you? Lovely, lovely. What are you saying? Do what, love? What are you saying? I've got to get off now. Grandkids are coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll be here in the morning. Three musketeers. We'll be on double time tomorrow with Ben. We're getting you out of bed here, Yeah. Yeah, I don't get a lane, do I? Every single day, boom. Neither do I. When do I get a lane? You do. You work nights. There you go. I've still got to get up early. Got you got, he goes to sleep at work. I don't. Only man I know that goes to sleep at work. You've got to have your break, haven't you? <laughs> so, I've got to go. Right, so. Dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. Bye bye. Don't be body burping, will you, tonight? Anyway, no commenting about my bum <laughs> About you what? Me having a jump. Oh. So this afternoon, what we're doing is we're worming, vaccinating, tagging, and oh, fluke. That's a fluke drencher we put in their mouth. So this is our cow race up to that gate up there to let them in. The rest we're just letting out into the yard. So it means cattle like this wild one here. Oh, it was a bit wild in the uh, crush. We can just do it with the two of us. Nobody needs to man this gap in between, which is good. Just makes things a little bit easier. It'd be so much better if we didn't have to like park tractors in different places to make blocks, but having gates in the places there for the time that we need it is, yeah, they're probably just getting in the way like when Andy's straw blowing in the morning or when we decide to come and muck out and, you know, just moving a vehicle in a place, although it's a bit time consuming don't actually need to do it all that often. Um, so yeah, compromises, farming compromises, all about it. So me and Ben are just feeding up now. We've just run out of meal, so we're gonna have to get a mix on. Um, but hey, that's what happens. Um, so we'll get these cattle fed and then uh, we can think about going home. Right, it's time for mixed measures before I get this turned on. It's a happy birthday to Harmony Grace. That's on mum, dad and Will and Nettie Everett is a br uh, belated one. I should have put this on yesterday. I apologise. I was just out in the lorry and totally forgot. Apologise. 50, 50 yesterday. Happy birthday to everybody whose birthday it has been over the past two days. And thanks for raising some money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Absolute business. Thanks, guys. So Ben's measuring it in. The molasses. Can't see it. Looks like I will be needing to do some milling tomorrow. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So these little things are a bit of a nightmare. We've just had one walk out of the gate because they're that small and walk back in. And then one was actually in this trough. You're going to be a bit of a pain, aren't you, you lot? Well, that little one. Yeah, it had a flag tag in, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, so we should see. There's no way they can escape. So we've got gates shut down here and we'll have gates shut at top, but. It's a bit of a pain. So we put a couple of troughs on outside that we weren't going to put on because then they've got holes in them. But it might just stop them from walking out. That's the plan. So we'll see what they're like in the morning if we've got any escapees. So I'm on the nine meter now. Um, just going to fill, start a premix because if I'm going to be having to do some milling tomorrow, it's going to be a busy, busy day. So. Anything I can get done tonight just makes it a little bit easier for me tomorrow. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail and all that, you know, um, motivational stuff. So I'm just letting Ben into the big shed now. He's feeding out. He's already put one in. Uh, that's why they're all at the trough trying to eat. So it's, um, should have really just put his first bucket right down at that bottom end. And then they wouldn't have been eating in front of him now. But anyway, he'll learn one day. And he's in here feeding out as well. Just getting that done. So Ben's just, oh, he's gonna back it in. 
Just going to back the uh, 130 into the shed. And then we're not far off done then. Get the laptop, shut the doors maybe on the lorry. Job should be a good one. What we reckon? You happy fellas? Good. So that's everything parked away. Yeah, everyone's OCD will be fine because Ben's back. Uh, back to this tractor in, not barked it in, backed it in. Now he's cleaning his wellies. I'm not quite sure where my hat's gone, but hey ho. If you want to see what the hats look like, head to joeseals.com. Plug, plug, plug for the merchandise. Um, and if you liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And we might see you in the morning. It's going to be a busy day because I've got lots of milling to do and um, nobody here. So that'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. Pump on me. Right, bye guys. Bye. Remember to wave, Ben, you gotta wave. Ben's waving.